Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Today we got some new mods for Farming Simulator 22 to take a look at. For PC and Mac, we have nine new, and that is it for today. Before we get into today's mod video, I wanted to remind you that mods may be a little bit sparse over the next week or two, as there has been a problem on consoles recently, mainly on the Xbox, but this issue is affecting lots of players in the community playing Farm Sim 22. Giants have identified the issue and will fix the problem in a patch later this month. Unfortunately, they have to stop publishing mods on the Xbox and PlayStation until that patch is out. They will continue to get the mods ready, and once the patch is out, they will drop all of the mods for console players at once. Giants say that they understand that this is frustrating, and they know that players will be understandably upset, but they have to get that patch out, and they will be doing that as soon as they can so that you guys can get back to playing Farm Sim 22 with new mods. Until this update, the only mods that will be published on the Mod Hub will be those that are on PC. I will reiterate this statement on each mod video until mods have returned to normal, but with that out of the way, let's check out today's new and updated mods. First up today, new mods for PC and Mac players. We have the Rigel PLT 600. This is a Spanish bell trailer from the brand Regaro Custer, characterized by its yellowish color. This could transport up to 18 bells, but you could probably put whatever you want on here because it's not auto load, so it's all up to you. We've got two different wheel setups. We have the Nokia tires and we have Trelleborg tires. Next up, we have the Eversagro HSD6. This is a 2.5 meter subsoiler. So it's gonna be found in the subsoiler category. 850 kilogram weight, 120 horsepower is required for it. And you're gonna have a seven mile per hour max speed. I believe some stuff in game, we've got stuff like twice the size that requires the same amount of power. So choose what you like. You've also got hooks in the back here too. Next up, we have the Dosen Mendler. This is a cultivator, 560 kilogram weight, 90 horsepower required. 3.5 meter working with at 10 miles per hour design web normal we've also got the ek on the back so you can put that there if you want to make color well we have all of them we've even got base game gray <laughs> whoever made this mert uh shout out to you man that's that's funny. I love that. Next, we have the BR-72 bag lifters. These are from Fred Monning, and we've got a couple different ones. So we've got a kind of a single bag lifter right here, and then you've got a double version of that. And then we've got a big, big version right here, and a double as well. I think we saw these in Farm Sim 19. I can't remember 100%, but either way, We've got them now. There is no customization for these, though. One thing that I would like to see would be some color customization for this, at least down the road, maybe in a future update. These are going to work with telehandlers. Next new mod today, something really cool, and I use this a lot, is HUD hide or hug toggle. So you can basically just turn off your HUD all you want. You could select this for anything you want, but really it's just left alt and number one right above the letter Q. Uh, you could do this to whatever you need. Of course, you can turn off all your help windows and things like that, but this will kind of get rid of a few things for you guys. I use this a lot during mod videos because I can look at a thing, take the picture, whatever I need to do, and then if I need to go into the game, boop, boop, ready to go. So check that out. Yes, there's a couple other ways to do it. For example, you can go in to here and you can type GS hide visibility and hit enter, and that will make it go away but then you could just alt out of it. You've also got in the F12 menu, we've got that here as well. You can do that, but again, just click the alt one. They all do everything, so you can use each one to turn it on, turn it off, but the alt one, this is my favorite way. Next is paint and terraform anywhere. So this mod is for the landscaping tools and allows you to paint and terraform anywhere you like. Does not matter if you own the land or not, you can even terraform where placeables are or where the road is. Interesting. So let's uh, see if we can raise something up through the uh, ground. Nope, that didn't work. But <laughs> so we've got that there. And then we probably go over to, was it level it out? Bring this here. <laughs> it's, it's kind of work. It's not really wanting to work too much here by the road, but uh, it does work. Uh, let's see. Do we have something else here? Possibly. Let me do a little something in the middle of the uh, thing. Yep, there you go. You can do that. And it even set around where animals are. Well, we've got some animals set up over here. And of course, there you go. You've got you a nice little spike right in the middle of the little baby piggies. 
rock and roll. That's cool, man. I love that. How's about a mod that is really cool? This is the realistic cab view. This mod is designed to allow realism in the first person view. So it limits you to 180 degrees angle. Plus, if you hit the left shift, now I believe it says just shift in general, but right shift won't work. <laughs> Turn. Turn off sticky keys. Let's let's go back. If you hold down the left shift, it's actually gonna like move you forward, which is pretty cool. So this may be super helpful. Let's say you're in a combine harvester and you want to see kind of where the header is. Well, that will work perfect for you guys. But it's nice because it turns your head around the seat and you can kind of look back there and see what everything's hooked up. Oh, come on, get out of here. Your next to last new mod today is going to be player speed. This modifies your speed so you can uh, set it to kind of whatever you want. So if you take a look at the top right now, it's not saying anything. Slow it down with standard speed. Now it's 0 0.7, 0 0.5, 0 0.2. And I can even speed up to three, eight, 15 and 20 times now. In Farm Sim 19, this is a mod there as well. It's from the same modder, Turbo Star. Uh, this mod allowed you to kind of get stuck on times 20. So you kind of had to exit the game and go back to it. So maybe that's also a thing. <laughs> Wee! Uh, I use this quite often. I've actually used a uh, third party version of this for a little while since Farm Sim has come out. But. Now I've deleted that and downloaded the appropriate one. And your last new mod today is going to be the vehicle camera auto zoom. This uh, mod is a thing that ensures the exterior camera zooms away from the vehicle when entering it. I don't know when you would need to use this. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but hey, it's not for me at the end of the day, I guess. So there you go. Uh, vehicle camera auto zoom. If you're having trouble with your camera not zooming away from you when you enter it, well, this is the mod, I guess. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. I've already released a Let's Play for today, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. And I'm going to be streaming with Giant Software later today at 2 p.m. Eastern time on their YouTube channel. So check that out if you're interested. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.